I haven't been dead. I am so, oh, been very vigorously applying to jobs. Well, not really vigorously. I've been vigorously pushing myself into applying for jobs. It's been, it's been really tough. I'm hungry right now, but I'm gonna get ready in 30 minutes to watch. So hungry. Get this started. I'm recording this before I go to sleep right now at 1 a.m. Foundation. Prior to this, I misted my face and also put some moisturizer. If I had more time, I would have used the sponge thingy for blending the foundation, but I am running out of time, so this is really the best I can do. My bronzer. I didn't really blend in yet. And this is my blush. I'm using the golden sparkles to add on to the bronzer sculpting my face and that's the highlighter on top of my blush I highlight other areas of my face too first layer of my eyeshadow is going to be the lightest color I'm bringing the powder all the way close to my eyebrow right on the edge of it this is my second layer and usually I start to bring in some color starting this layer but I still stay in bright tone I'm going over the same second layer but this time sparkly this is what I recently learned but I'll explain later. This is the most important part, the darkest. This darker outer crease is basically what's creating drama in your eye. And then I bring some more sparkles and bright color under my eye. What's that called? And I'm ready for my eyeliner. It's really painful to watch, but yeah, I'm pretty good at it. Secret to drawing a perfect cat eye is all in the Q-tips. Basically, if you mess up, you just smudge it away. You're basically erasing what you just drew with the Q-tip. Mascara time! You're basically coating the heck out of your eyelashes. Do that a bunch of times. If you're using almost dried up mascara, which is my case, I need to organize my vanity. Again, my favorite friend, Q-tip eraser. The mascara could really get into your amazing shadow. We're moving on to the eyebrows, but just letting you know, I haven't worn makeup in about two, three weeks. So there are a lot of little hair that I would have plucked them out but who cares, you can't even really see them. So basically, I just draw outline and then I use that brow brush to blend that line into the eyebrows. I felt extra today, so I'm using the brow gel to make them look bushier. My friend Q-tip! I really can't do my makeup if I don't have my eraser. It just means everything. Now this clip is not sped up. It's just exactly the way I was doing it. Um, I'm just making sure they're even looking. 
this is a quick highlight slash sculpting my face um, yeah I just bring it in between my brows and then bring it down but not all the way down but you also want to keep it pretty much in the middle if you feel extra you could do what I'm doing it just defines more of your eyes I'm ready to rule the world I forgot my lips because I always hate doing my lips it's not that I hate it it's just my lips are always so dry but this is the end I am late but here I go here I go see I didn't need to blend because by the time I come out to Times Square it naturally already blends it for me see it's all blended <laughs>